Oh, oh right. A uh, little bit weird. I haven't done this before. This is Bioshock Infinite. This I have played before this game two and a half times something like that. I think like two complete runs through the games. Um, a little bit like VR and stuff like that. I've done the first DLC and a little bit of the second DLC. But I've never put the main game on this channel. And why not? It's been a while since I played this and it's it's a really good game. I really like this. This is on the top of my uh, like, you know, enjoyable games. So I wanted to uh, to put this here, you know, on the channel. And um, this game actually supports uh, like 32 by 9 aspect ratio and stuff like that. But it also supports... Let's see if I can do this. Uh, it is also water HDR, so I'm going to be playing this in, uh, you know, the Windows Auto HDR. I'm going to record this in HDR. Hopefully, it will look good on YouTube because I feel that the Auto HDR sometimes the effect isn't being captured to its fullest. Uh, but, hey, um, I might be wrong, I haven't super analyzed that, but yeah, so I also recommend that you check, um, if I'm, uh, hopefully I remember, um, PC Gaming Wiki about this game, so you can disable the UK launcher that pretty much blocked my Steam controller from working properly, but there are information how to block the 2K launcher from launching with the game, it's stupid, it's a launcher within a launcher to get to the game, and there is also other tweaks, I think I disable like depth of field and a little bit of stuff like that. Um, nothing super major, but anyways, that's, uh, you know, the things have been done. I've added an FOV tweak to make it a little bit more of a wide FOV, but let's get into the game here. I might have to adjust some of the audio settings, stuff like that. So Stuff like that. I also completely redone my Steam Control configuration because, you know, the last time I did this was maybe two years, three years ago. Um, that I like updated my Steam Controller configuration for this game. Uh, so, uh, you know, you get better, you know, the more you use your Steam Controller. And thank God this is still holding up because it's just the most fun game to play games like this on. So, the main game, this game only has one save slot. Fortunately, so I'm gonna have to clear my progress. Uh, I probably could go hard since I've played this, and not gonna go easy. Medium to get this, you know, in a good way on the channel, I think is a good starting point. This is a good game if you are new to FPS games, uh, you know, go for easy. It's, uh, it's uh, a little bit of exploration, it's a very linear game, very kind of clear most of the time what you can do. You have a built-in guide to tell you, hey, this is the recommended way to go, to progress and stuff like that. So, very good game to start with. You haven't played a lot of FPS games. I'm gonna use this Hades on... Uh, see something. There we go. I mean, I'm gonna have to tweak the audio levels. They were quite high there. I'm gonna be playing this with the Windows Auto HDR. I'm playing in window mode here. Okay. I don't think this has a borderless window. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Increase the audio level. So when you tap tab out, the game pauses and uh, you know no audio and stuff like that. So I'm a bit rough Rowing. here. Rowing. Hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to show What's the this? burden? No, I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea. I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing. No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? 
The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. One does not. Um, so I do feel that this unfortunately has quite the dynamic range. Um, <laughs> which means it might be uh, tricky. Might be tricky to get the, all of the audio levels perfectly fine. Undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, no, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No. He doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We've arrived. So it looks pretty. You know, you can tell that it is. Uh, the graphic is outdated, right, by the modern standards, but it still has a nice artistic flair. Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Yeah, you know, it still has its charm. It's not looking terrible or anything. And uh, with the auto HDR here, it's a little bit of an... But yeah, this is a good starting FPS game. It's pretty basic in stuff. Bring us the girl and wipe away the death. So I know the story, but I'm not gonna spoil it if you, and, you know if you don't know about the story, I'm gonna try to not spoil it. Oop. It is nice to revisit this game with a little bit of an extra HDR and on my uh, you know, RTX 3070 and my Ryzen 5060X and 32 gig of DDR4 system memory. This game is running perfectly fine in. I'm hitting my Excuse max me. FPS. It's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me. My CPU is not being, you know, maxed out. My GPU is. It might in some action scenes be maxed out. I, I, I just think that's probably due to some optimization of the games. Because it's like going from 40 all the way up to like 70. CPU utilization a bit fluctuate. Overall, it should find that. Check this. Okay. Good luck with that, pal. Yeah, it should be running pretty much 120 frames on here. And this is sort of here? Hello? like this mysterious start of the game, but it's not. You still, uh, you know, you're in in the action a bit. You can walk around and stuff like that. That's very crisp, still crisp texture here, so you can read. Looks pretty decent. Everything here. Uses, this game uses very little VRAM. It's about three gigabyte right now. Um, <laughs> on my 8 gig RTX 3070, so not not any problem. Shit! I do again. I do like this mysterious little start, but it's gonna kick off pretty soon and you can go around you can so explore a little bit you can check out so it works fine it's not a super long just low burner of a game or anything makes you good
you have a sprint, a walk, a medium jog. Yes. The decent rain effects and everything. Definitely adds a little bit of oomph having the auto HDR thing there being. Oh, wait a minute. Down there. Wait a minute, that card. Right, so. Oops. My bad. Okay, so I have. Uh, oops. So it's. There we go. I do have Turbo Fire on use or pick up items. That's why this was a little bit tricky for me. <laughs> Could you loot a lot in this game? So having that being automatic is nice. And that's not an option, that's a Steam, Steam controller thing, you know, Steam overlay. So this is the third game in the Bioshock universe or installment. Uh, and, uh, you know, they have a very nice uh, right. style to them. Like the one... To in their fancy chair. The first and second one also has uh, like a remade, refreshed graphic since a couple of years back. I never played the first two, I don't know why, but I just kind of nipped a little bit on them. But I never really got into them. Maybe I'll do a let's try of like the first or second one. Um, but I think this is more, maybe a little more, more of like shooting action inspired. That just spoke a little bit more to me. But they seem graphically and you know, story wise very interesting. The bindings are there as a safeguard. No, no, god damn it! Ascension. Ascension in the count of five. Count of four. No, no. Three. Two. One. So even if I played these games, I haven't found every like 100% seek and stuff, so I might still get, you know, to discover new things, and I don't remember, you know, everything. It's going to be me trying to discover where to do stuff and find stuff, uh, like, again. But I do remember, like, the main plot and main thing. There's going to be a lot of religious team in this game, so be aware of that. <laughs> Hopefully it won't get blocked because there are some music in this game also. remember some of the boss being a bit of a challenge and we'll see how that's gonna play out. I think there were any major progress except for the final part, final boss things like, that I didn't really enjoy in this game. Other than that, pretty balanced and good game.
very nice color here, especially with the auto HDR for some extra color oomph that fits this uh, game's mood really well. Find a way into it. Um, yeah, and here you have that little map help. That's perfect if you're new FPS. You know, you get a little bit of, hey, go that way. Use when you want, or if used to not use that way. I think this game should be around maybe 12, 16 hours, hey, depending me. on Where am I? skills. Such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? There's a lot of story element in this game. I tried to play some of it and, and every year, go that on one off. But I might speak over some because it's a lot of things. <laughs> And the giving of faith. Is it someone new? Someone from the sodden below? Newly come to Columbia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord? I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of... I'm gonna try something. I'm sorry for this. I have to actually do a little bit of a... Tweaking as I go. Um, an extra command. Out of press. Ease of press. That things. Yo. So it's very confusing, you but that's all right. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. this you know mysterious but it's going to make more and more sense as you progress it's a very interesting story you enjoy this <laughs> this story here and again the graphic style really even if you can tell that it's uh, you know older graphic it still looks uh, like artistically nice that idiot priest has um, learned the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one and this game is like find a 10 years old <laughs> at this point in time. 2012, 2013. Even Oles older, maybe? Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. To Father yeah, I think this is older, right? Our prophet fills it's 2012. Our with water, so they may better love and care. There's a lot of NPCs that you can just, you know, go around and listen to. He who crossed the Delaware with flames. Not gonna focus on that, since this is a very old game and probably most of people has, you know, done that. And be good if you if you want that to try that yourself. Walk around and listen to all the NPCs. Something for you to. Sure, fools. All right. 
so and you're your own. Do -do. But we pretty much don't really know about what's going on yet. We just get dropped off by some mysterious dudes. We enter some ship uh, or craft and we go to this place where we get baptized, right? Reborn here. I do really enjoy this, all these little NPCs there. Uh, makes the, the world seem quite lively. Quite alive. to capture Father Comstock's absolute he might does not know Saul's alright I tell you he says he's for faith family and fatherland but yeah I do still think the textures those are pretty damn good with how they look and how you can read them and stuff so this is something I'm gonna show this one. I'm not gonna do this going forward. But these are a little bit extra story cutscenes. So yeah, these ones are, and that's also nice, a little extra touch, but they are, you know, just if you want a, a little bit of an extra lore, it's not required. they did a good job here making it the world feel quite alive yeah I think it's a good thing to put this on my channel because um, it's one of my games that I really enjoy so even if this you know isn't a fresh game or anything. It's fun to have it there. I've done. I don't mind replaying this. Or, you know, like a full playthrough for the third time. Because <laughs> it feels just uh, good to get into it. Um, we'll see if there's something later coming up that uh, made me like worried. I forgot about this part. Oh, this wasn't fun. Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Warm temperatures Hello. and light variable winds throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to the music. I do think there are a few things like that you can make choices that might affect like a little bit of a story or cutscene, but not the mayor. So here you have another that you can, you know, if you want more lore, check that one out, those ones out. Trying to progress this pretty smooth. So let's focus on... Keep 
focus in on more of the main story here. But I can still recommend this game. I, I feel uh, safe to that. The gameplay still holds up in a right way. Graphically, it has a pleasing look to it here. With auto HDR or with super, you know ultra wide support also very nice extra touch to a game. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. Oh, or me. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number seventy seven. Stop. <laughs> what the hell? You're gonna have, I believe, two guns, and you have some magical Vigor's powers to use. This game that you're gonna pretty, pretty quickly get. Join. You gonna let me through here, pal? Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to Kingdom Come. Again. Roadblock. Better find another way around. This is Gary Hyatt being to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If young sir, you young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Find the devil, good sir, and cast him it's out. the devil tweet on. Bucking Bronco. Huh. No sale. Andy with a rifle. <laughs> Looking to do your part for Columbia. Show your skill by hunting down Daisy Fitzroy and the vile members of the Vox Hoculi. Well, here's a brave fellow. Now, shoot the box when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize. Let's try this, huh? First place, all right. Got silver powers. Oof. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little mini game and stuff. Have you ever 
never seen anything like it. I really think it starts off really good. Has a pay telephone ever refused to connect you with a beloved spouse? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend your will. Here we go, our first power. They're all ears. <laughs> You're gonna get an introduction. You have to use it or Yeah. Right. Press to turn machines into allies. And you can upgrade these wires also viewers. Really nice. What the hell was that? <laughs> That's a fun thing. I didn't know that my first playthrough. I think I found out that later on that you can possess the machines. Like get money off them. <laughs> Sorry, pal. The raffle is all sold out. And well, as it isn't assemblyman Buford. Your spot at the raffle awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Right, you're supposed to use your power to unlock that. Alright, I think I've done most of the exploration there, so let's move on. This is uh, to teach you to use your ability here. Right. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Huh. Tails. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next this time. will make sense later on. <laughs> but don't worry about that. It's very interesting the first time you played like, what the heck? Hell kit, hell kit, so also. Right. So you have a little bit of exploration you can do that, but it's going to be mostly linear. Did I check this area? You. It is a lot of like, you know, looting, so again, it might be a thing that I would, uh, you know, walk around like this. Wouldn't mind if that got, got toned down personally. It's not super crazy. And if you use um, some kind of turbo fire or water fire, it's a bit easier. Madam Lutess, I have read all your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you are allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. What the? F what? The f yeah, that's right. Good power on. Oh. 
So pretty much every action is like a toggle, toggle sprint, toggle crouch, toggle aim, down sight. That's why I like using the Steam controller and the, you know, the Steam remapping. So I turn it in crouch into a hold and the sprint into a kind of semi toggle thing. And the ADS is going to be hold also. Hopefully that's going to work good. Sometimes it bugs out, but... You're supposed to go up there. Ooh. The music, the R. It's going to be an interesting thing happening here. So, let's go to the music festival. Alright, we have this one. Doesn't seem like we can do anything here. You're supposed to talk to this one? Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. <laughs> You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. Oh no. 77. That's the number we're not That's supposed to get. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in so, all Columbia? <laughs> it's gonna be pretty obvious here that they are religious and there are going to be another that's going to be touch up on in this uh, game so yeah that's gonna bother you you should turn away after this maybe there'll be more of this team in this game you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? The false shepherd? And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! And there's gonna be violence. gonna be a lot of violence so be prepared for that gonna be shooting more than I'm... There we go, health back. 
shooting more than I'm, on, than I'm using melee, so most likely. Don't have my. Session 8 adds ability to possess humans who suicide when the effect expires. Well, why not? There we go. So now we can uh, use the possession of the enemies, also... So again, it's, it's, it's a very linear game with a little bit of an extra exploration here and there. Oh my god, he can see me all the way here? <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to die some uh, sometime, you know. Um. It's definitely interesting sometimes to do uh, to spot all the enemies here. But the better... The more warmed up and the more, whoop, more g better guns and stuff I get, it should uh, start getting hopefully less uh, 
bad. Oop. Bad deaths. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of action and gore and stuff like that. Here comes our first boss. get our second Viger with its fire power. Possession and we have Devil's Kiss. Here we go. I'm gonna be using the menu to quick to swap. You can hot swap, but uh, the map um, like eight figures with the Steam controller and everything just didn't seem like it's worth it in this game. I can just do this, the game gets paused. And I can switch. It just made it a little bit easier. Jesus, I was not ready for that one. Let's leave this area. There we go. <laughs> so you can uh, de destroy those turrets. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we have put our health back. You get some story going. A nice looking little Why are you following me? We were already here. Why are you following us? Uh, Aperitif. Alright, I haven't really noticed that but alcohol or the beer will deplete your uh, Salt bar a little bit, but I do think that it gives you HP. You'll find that handy in a pinch. The difference between life and death. And here we got the um, shield. Right? So you have a HP bar and you have a shield bar. So the shield will protect that? you from taking Surprising. permanent damage. The Surprising. shield will regenerate. We have this one also. 
damn hook must be magnetized. <laughs> You, the, I think there are a um, few like. Uh, oops. <laughs> um, a few like three areas. Oh, right. You can have. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, I'm sorry, I need to remap something here. Uh, so you need to hold to pick up the weapons here. So I need to have one that is looting, that is auto fire, and one that is manual pickup weapons. So let's do that for weapons. You know what, I can do both for weapons. So this is gonna be... Yeah, let's do both. We are soon back. There we go. There we go. Right. And uh, of course, I need to change that because we did it the wrong way. Um, blah, blah, blah. There we go. That one. Roll wheel up. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to save my save file so it doesn't. Perfect. So it doesn't get the uh, removed last. It is a lot of story, but it's also very, you know, heavy on. <laughs> it's gonna be very heavy on. Uh, on story. There we go. So you can use the turns to help you. And then you can like destroy them. So you don't have to worry about them shooting you. Alright, I think this is an extra area that you can go to. Maybe? Yeah, there are a few areas that are, like, not mandatory. 
that you can find like extra secret stuff or do 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 I think you're supposed to go that way. Let's check the basement out. Locked. Op optional guest quest, yeah. Give you an opportunity to find the well but resource. Stay alert for, for key that may open this chest. Oh, okay. I don't know if I have found that one. So if I have a key... That's cool though. Yeah, again, so I don't think I've have found that one in my normal play playthrough, so they are going to be, you know. Um I might even discover some new things play this playthrough. That means that I probably have to come back to this place later on if I... If I find, find the key, I'm gonna have to, you know, return here. What I'm guessing. I might be wrong. I don't see any key in here. So yeah, you're probably supposed to uh, return. So if you find the key, you go back here. Enough. Doesn't seem like I can go back. I oh I can okay. Oh yeah, you, if you find the key, you can get that optional thing. Um, there are some kind of clothing stuff that you can get that will buff you up a little bit extra. There's no manual save, there's only auto save. Wonder where the key 
he could be. I don't think I did find the key even in my first playthrough for a second, so... to take your break in this uh, playthrough here yeah, about an hour should be pretty good I almost died there. Jesus. What's their HP in here? I did not pay attention to my... <laughs> my HP. I full HP again. Okay. There we go. Gomstock came by the wagon at dawn. Man was just... He just transfixed by my trophy scalps. Asked about the white ones there. I said, well, sir, if your quarry dwells in the jungle and beds down with the local color, why split hairs? <laughs> Not a chuckle out of him. Either he ain't seen a man go native or maybe... Maybe too many. Anyhow, now it's got me hunting down this Daisy Fitzroy. Hope we don't expect me to stuff and mount her. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I can get to a good place where it will also save. Oops. Hello, horsey. Right, I don't think I can go this way, so I can only go, I believe, this way. This is probably a good way to start and stop the episode. No, go that way. Uh, let me... Oops. This one. That's the way to go. Here we go. This big door. I'm gonna stop and start here another episode before we go in here I might do a, mm -hmm. do I have I do maybe have a let's try to do uh, it might not be a continuous uh, Bioshock Infinite series depending on what I feel for but I might try to toss in one more game or something like that to mix it up but stay tuned for 
another one coming right up I'm gonna just pause here start and stop the video for easy easy equation of uh, you know episodes so stay tuned for another sort of Bioshock Infinite coming right up tomorrow here and you know like follow check back to channel if you don't want to miss videos or if nothing else have a great day and stay tuned for Bioshock and have a great day till then and bye for now